This is not a good idea. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to recreate this look here. It's a little crazy. Like, I love it. Like, I was scrolling through my Instagram and I found this picture and I was like, yo, I have to recreate this. So I'm like, I wonder if I can, first of all, because I'm not really like um, into all these colors. So I decided to try it, girl. And this is what, this is how it turned out. But yeah, so if y'all want to know how I recreated that look, then just keep on watching. So I went ahead and concealed my eyelids with the Kat Von D Lock It Concealer. I'm going to start off with the crease color. I'm going to use Martyr by the Saint and Sinner palette, which is this one right here. Try to recreate her look exactly. So I have some right here on the crease and wing it out as she has. After that, she has a little bit of orange on the crease too. It's not too orangey. Going, I'm going to go in with this orange here. I believe it's Devil or Vet. I don't know. Looks like a D, looks like a V, I don't know. And I'm gonna do use the same brush. Not the same brush, this is a PH Cosmetics brush. And wing it out. And I wanna go with the green next, cause I feel like I can blend out with the blue. So with that, I'm going to use a flat, a flat shader brush here. And this is also a BH Cosmetic brush. 102, I think it's what it is. And for the green, I'm going to go in with green here. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to go in with the Metals Matte in the shade Moss. I feel like that's a more appropriate green. Oh, I just... And I'm going to apply that on top of this green. Yes. After the green, she has blue. I'm going to go with the Morphe E17 brush. And that blue, I feel like I have that blue. I'm going to go in with the Star Studded Palette by Count Von D and go in with this blue right here. And apply that on right next to the green. Just so we can create a transition between this blue and the other blue that we are going to apply. With the same brush, I'm going to go in with Velour in this palette here and pack a lot on my brush. It's alright if we have fallout because we, oh shoot, yeah, because we're going to do our face last and this I'm going to bring it forward on top of the crease and blend with that green, but not too much to the inner corner because we're going to apply that green. And we want that green to be vibrant. And we're going to pull that blue out. A little bit. Because we are applying that blue. What? That purple. Now with a smudger brush like this. But it's a little bit fluffy. I'm going to go in with the purple. And the purple... I'm going to use its Exorcism in the Saint and Sinner palette and I'm going to pack that all over my brush. I hope this comes out right because I'm going to be mad if it don't. And I'm going to stamp it on first so that you can see that purple a little and then flare it out, you know? And then go back in with the transition shade and blend it out with that devil orange on the Saint and Sinner palette. So you'll have you'll have it blended. And then back with that same brush. That same purple. And flare it out. Wet and Wild Fluffy Brush, Zobo, which is this purple right here. 
or like a pinkish shade. And run it on top to blend out everything. With a light hand. You don't want to go too heavy with this. Now we're going to stop right there for right now. And then go in with the lime green that's on the inner corner of the girls. Um, in the picture. I'm going to go in with Exodus. Exodus. This lime green here in the Satan Center palette. Grab a generous amount. Spray some on the brush. Spray some what? Spray some rose water to give it a bit more of a vibrant look. I'm gonna grab my house. And I'm going to stamp that on. Yes, yes. Now we did lose the green a little bit, the one on the center of the eye. So I'm gonna go with the same brush without adding product and stamp some more green. Then go back with the same one that you applied the blue with. Back with the green one to blend right here. Back with the lime green. Make sure all that is blended. This came out pretty good. I'm, I still got a blend, so work with me. And then I'm gonna go with the purple one here to make sure everything is blended. Going back with the brush that we applied the transition shade with. And blend. I want to lift up my, I want to lift up, lift, lift. I want to lift up my eyebrow so I can get in that little crevice and make sure I blend everything out properly like so i feel like her purple is a bit more vibrant so i'm gonna go a small pointy brush i don't think it's focusing on you on you what on the brush and i'm going to apply more purple but i want a different purple this time i'm gonna go with the one on the star studded palette and use this purple this palette is sold i think it's like the first palette that calvin d did come out with if i'm not mistaken so I grabbed a generous amount and now I'm gonna stamp it on the outer corner. Um, it's a little purple for my liking. I mean, a little blue. So let me see if I have another. We'll actually go back with Exorcism. Yeah. Back with Exorcism. These are all matte eyeshadows and this is one of the reasons why I chose this. Um, what the fuck? this look this picture to recreate because i love matte colors like all right so i'm gonna add now with the same brush i added green i'm gonna go in with sphere just to brighten up the inner corners again should i yes yeah. i'm gonna spray my brush just to give the eyeshadow a little bit more color more pigment Okay, now that we messed up the green, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and stamp the other green on top. Okay, and then again, stamp a little bit more blue. I'm gonna go in with a smaller, a smaller blending brush. Let me make sure everything is blended. Oh, wait. Yes. With the Take Me Back to Brazil palette, I'm gonna go in with this purple here. Ooh, this is it. She did whiten her lash line. I don't have, I only have liquid. And I don't think I wanna put liquid under there. Or what if I, I'm gonna do it. This is not a good idea. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and do my lashes. Coat my lashes with some mascara. It looks like she has some like long, wispy um, lashes. So I'm gonna go with the Secret Vanity Lashes here in the style Cleopatra. <laughs> okay, and they look um, they look fluffy as well. I don't know what kind of lashes she's wearing, but I think these will do. 
So there you have the look. I think I did a pretty good job. Oh, I didn't even add it on my under, under, what the fuck? The bottom of my lash line. So I'm just gonna put these same exact colors under there, nothing crazy. Although this looks already crazy. I really like this look. It's not like I can wear it anywhere, but this look looks pretty dope. That is the completed look. I did put three liquid lipsticks on. They're all by ColourPop. Actually, no, two of them are by ColourPop. The other one is a Dose of Color. The Dose of Color is Truffle, and it's this one right here. Then I have the ColourPop 951. This was the I Love Sa Sarai collab that they did together. And I also topped it, um, I topped it with the color Chi. This is it, just a light, a light, really, really light um, shade, nude shade. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this, um, this mini tutorial. I don't know if it's a tutorial, it's just basically me recreating um, this look. But yeah, thank y'all so much for watching. Stay tuned for my next video. Yeah, thank y'all so much. And until next time, bye.